Hey guys, uh, before we get things started here, I just want to let you know a little secret, uh, something me and Forrest are really excited about. We are going to be holding a musky school on Lake of the Woods in 2020 between the dates of July 19th and July 26th. This is an offer for you guys to come up and learn how to be a better musky fisherman, how to break down big water, boat side tactics, like so much stuff we're going to teach you guys in this seven day period. It includes a guided trip with either Forrest or I, great uh, raffle prizes and stuff like that. But we're really excited to work with Flag Island Resort for this opportunity uh, and really just make you guys better musky fishermen. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're really excited and looking forward to it. So if you guys want more information on that, I'll leave a link in the description below to my website and you'll see in the top right hand corner, it'll be a week in the woods musky school. You can check out all the details there. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this series. We put so much hard work into it and I hope it makes you guys a better musky fisherman. Way lazy. Well, I don't know. Don't really have the uh, greatest feeling about this morning so far. We've fished a couple really good spots. That's the first fish I've seen. And our morning bite's been really good. And that fish came in about six feet behind my bucktail. Sped up a little bit in the first turn, but we're a little post frontal today. Yesterday we had all the cloud cover, today we got high skies. I only got one line in the water, so that's not going to help any. But we're trying to capitalize on this morning bite, so get back to fishing. Not hooked that good. Best part of fishing by yourself, coming right up. It's got a lot of spunk for being a 40 incher. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop her right here, Ryan. Once I get her up. All right, it took three bites, but I got one. 
this is the first fish that we've caught out on the cast since we started filming this week. I lost two on a figure eight today. I don't even know if you can consider it losing. They just never got hooks. We kind of went through our major, I don't know, 20 minutes past the peak of it with like no action or very lazy follows. And ever since then, it's now about an hour after that and now the fishing is just picked up and the fish are just moving 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 so i was flying around there was a guy in the next spot i wanted to go to so i came in here and they're not really relating to current is what i've been noticing today not seeing a lot of fish on current they're just on wind blowing points um, i don't know if the current's ripping too hard for them and they just don't want to be there but the most active fish i've seen have been on wind blowing points of course you always catch the smallest one you hook of the day <laughs> but a nice little pretty one Nice spots. Fins are really nice and clean. This is the same spot that I caught the one on on the night of day one. About the same size fish too. But the wind, the fish move up and down. There's always new fish in the spots. You can fish the same spot over each day and see different fish on it. But like I said, the fish are going. She wants to get back. That's hilarious. Ryan's just watching the screen on the drone. <laughs> Ryan goes, fish. <laughs> Two seconds later, before it's like, yep. Second turn of the figure eight. Chowed it. Chowed it. Bucktails are hot. I was kind of a bucktail hog last year, so. <laughs> Forrest is beating up on him this week. I don't care. I'll catch all of them within that. That don't bother me as long as we get the film. All right, let's get her back. Out of nowhere. Good job, buddy. Yes. Nice scouting today, sir. Still not 
three fish on a really tough day is a good thing. Well, we mean both. Me and Forrest both had a really tough day today. He had clients. He didn't. He had one bite. Your client one, lost it. One bite, yeah. We had just fish nipping really bad. Forrest's last fish just barely got the back hook. This is like the first positive strike we've seen all day. Blew really hard today, and now it's just starting to lay down, and they're starting to get a little bit more active. So, like we say, the fish are two more. spots, two fish. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> it didn't fight! <laughs> it didn't fight! Maybe I was wrong. 48 isn't big anymore? Come here. Really? Don't be scared of me. I'm nuts. <laughs> every time I get, every time I start to slide up in there. So <laughs> <laughs> squirmy, eh? Come here. Yeah, I got you. Yep. Pop right away. I got the tail. 40. Yep, 48. Well, Forrest, if that's not a big one, I think you need to put much more. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's not big, but it's a really, really nice fish. Beautiful fish. I won't complain about four footers. Nope. Away from the boat, that's the first fish that we've caught away, or that Forrest has caught away from the boat, and you said nine? This was, yeah, number last eight have been all figure eights. And I caught one today away from the boat too, so that might be something kind of interesting to look into a little bit, but. Let's get her back. Get her back, fish are moving. Well, we had ourselves a pretty awesome evening. Awesome, awesome evening. Wind died down. Uh, you ended up with a top water fish because of it. Yep. Two nice fish on blades. Yep, one on a figure eight, one out from the boat. A little mix of everything tonight, which was really nice. We have we, we both had really tough, frustrating days with the weather and the wind. Well, trying to deal with 35, 30 mile an hour winds gusting, probably even higher than that. We ended up right next to each other, kind of, and didn't even know it. Um, and it was funny because we both realized that the fish in this area were do were more active than in anywhere else. Um, we both fished two different areas to get to this one point, so that was really cool. I think great minds think alike sometimes. I'd say so. Or just dumb luck, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.